The 2012 Alaska Special Olympic Games kicked off on Friday in Anchorage and were in full force by Saturday afternoon as athletes and their families enjoyed an event that can really only be defined as special. This is about really uniting people and it's about, it's about sports but it's also about um, acceptance and inclusion and unity and for 32 years and this second weekend in June there is no other place that I would be than with a Special Olympics Alaska event because it's our athletes who um, who bring to us the joy there it's our athletes who bring to us life skills and life lessons that we all need to learn from each other to see our athletes the friendships that have been formed it's just tremendous and to see the growth of our program and to see our athletes improve each year too the over 250 Special Olympians which participated in this year's games were able to do so thanks to the nearly 500 volunteers who acted as laborers, leaders, coaches, refs, or simply as helping hands. Well, we have a common tie, a common direction. We all want to see each other do well. We have a way to contribute for their enjoyment, for their ability to step up and perform. It's an exciting time for them. They work very hard all year. And so we have the chance to participate as a member of the community, community of Anchorage and Alaska. And even though this weekend's volunteers came to the games with the intention of helping others, some were helped by those who came to compete. How they like persevere and they never give up. They just keep going and they're really happy. It's just an amazing thing to see. You, you see a lot of kids who like may not be in like the best situation and so they'll have to deal with really hard obstacles in their life and they're really optimistic when they get behind the block and are ready to race. Yeah, this is my first year and, and I actually have um, a disability and for me this is an inspiration that they just keep going and they just keep at it and they never give up no matter what life throws at them. As for the athletes, they got to enjoy the sports they love while in the company of friends. My favorite part is being with the team, seeing our coaches, seeing my friends, and including my favorite, Mr. James. I've been in Special Olympics for almost 40 years. I started when I was eight years old. I can't believe that's my very best I ever done. And even as this year's games come to a close, the memories here will last a lifetime. Reporting for AKSN, I'm Chase Erfman.